What is going on guys? You have to excuse me, I am exhausted. Been out here working on the yard. Nice evening here. It's cooled down finally. Got things cleaned up and was over here looking at the Jag. I go, you know, I made a video on this and to be honest with you, I haven't done a whole lot to it. To make a long story short, I had a little slip and fall. Ended up hitting my head and uh, my God, the side effects didn't show up till a few days later. Kind of scary. So with money being kind of tight, me having all my kids for the summer, uh, well, it is what it is. So I try to find some things I can do on a budget. So I'll give you some updates on what I've done. <clears throat> One, I went ahead and started buffing out the headlights. Uh, like you've seen in my other videos, wet sand, 1000 grit. Turtle wax, light duty compound in the green container. Buff, 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 buff. And then when you get done, I ended up having that Meguiar's Headlight Restore, which you also buff on. You don't have to have it. But those came out really great. On the passenger side, much, much better. But this guy needs more work. So with all that said, uh, I did some degrees and some cleaning in the engine compartment. Over here is where some mice were or something. I'm pretty sure it's mice. Been getting all that cleaned up down there they had a nest got all that ripped out cleaned up thankfully they didn't show up any wiring or anything uh just cleaning doing stuff like that uh one bad thing which i'll get back to and it's too dark to show it there's a valve that uh determines the passenger and driver side heat that valve's bad it's stuck up it's stuck open so when the car is running you have nothing but hot heat blowing on you, so we got to fix that. Um, but one of the things I thought I wanted to get, which is kind of cool, other than my fancy $500 key, let's open up the trunk, watch this. Check it out, it works. All right, see, that alone was worth for the key. Look at that. Well, uh, with me being out of work, money being tight, uh... The battery for this damn thing is like $160, guys. Look at this thing. It's massive. It's 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 huge. And then the terminals, well, I don't want to say they're recessed, but the top of the battery is a little higher than where the terminal is at. And to get everything to fit, uh, you don't have a lot of clearance. So, you know, not to plug this company, but you might want to look around locally where you live. Here, it's called Millennium. And they recondition batteries. And if you look at the tops, you can clearly see they've been opened and tampered. They got a machine that ends up pulling all the acid out, uh, does whatever with the plates. They add fresh acid. They put it on a load charge. Everything's, or they, they charge it up. They put it on a load. Test good. You get a warranty. And you get them for about 50 bucks a piece. And to be honest with you, the last one I had uh, lasted me well over two years. So I figured it was worth a gamble for 50 bucks. So... Uh, on a budget, because I still haven't driven the car much, um, got a reconditioned battery in there, which I'm all about saving money. Now, not to stay on this, there are some electrical issues. I think in my first video, I did address some of them. Uh, the radio controls and so on have a mind of their own, so pretty much the radio and everything, it's toast. Uh, the AC, like I was saying earlier, to get back on that, with that valve, so you got dual climate control, with that valve having both stuck open, it's just blowing hot air out of both sides. Here's the bad news. When that valve goes bad, it'll short out your head unit for your AC controls, which evidently it's done. Now mine will light up. And if you tap on it, there. If you tap on it, it lights up to where you can see what you're doing. But the AC is just not turning on. The fan turns on, but no cold air out the vents. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to get one of those control valves for the heater somebody told me that ford uh the lincoln ls is the same so that would be awesome i gotta investigate and check that first but you gotta change that first and make sure it's good because if you change this one out first then that control valve is just gonna blow out your new unit go figure jaguar so with all that said i think what we're gonna do is just take it one step at a time I will get parts as I get good deals on them. I can't afford to just go online and buy parts. And unfortunately here, locally, the junkyards, when these cars come in, 
no one's really ever looking for parts so they get crushed real fast so it looks like a ebay keep an eye online or whatever all right guys hopefully the next video i'll have a lot of positive progress uh i'm just bored and with it being a nice evening I just figured i'd do an update you guys have a good evening i'm gonna try to do the same